So we've all seen American Gladiators, right? Okay, this is very important. Um, <laughs> so I do have an older brother, but he was never much of an older brother figure. That role was assumed by my cousin John. Um, Jonathan is uh, he's just a badass. Like, he's older than me, older than my older brother, and he is also an older brother, and he was just as, you know, brutal with his young, younger brother as my brother was to me. Um, but as far as family dynamics are concerned, it's okay for an older brother to beat up on a younger brother. That's expected. Um, it was not okay for an older brother to beat up on a younger cousin, and I was the younger cousin, so John had my back. Um, John currently lives in Alaska. He's a... He's a uh, professional fisherman, um, and before that, he was tramping all over the globe and, and has just the most wonderful stories about getting in bar fights in Morocco and shit like that. Um, so that I, I held and hold my cousin John in very high esteem. Um, this story takes place years ago when we were all still relatively young. Um, John was the oldest, and our parents made the mistake of putting him in charge. Um, so th the two families had come together to watch a meteor shower. Um, so, you know, parents were hanging out, drinking and shit, and, and, uh, and the four of us, me, my brother, my cousin John, and his uh, younger brother, Stephen, uh, were told to just go play. Um, so. John had the great idea that we were going to play American Gladiators. And there's the one event in American Gladiators where you have like all these obstacles and uh, some chick with big hair and bigger muscles is shooting at him with tennis balls. Um, so we didn't have any obstacles and we didn't have a gun that shot tennis balls, but we did have a slingshot. Um, so John was going to be the woman with big hair and big muscles um, and the tennis ball gun. My brother and his brother were going to be the gladiators competing, you know, running through this field trying to like reach, I don't remember, we put like a flag out or something, sort of capture the flag type event. And, uh, and I was the youngest of the group and it was my job to supply John with ammo. So he told me like all the best places to, to find rocks in, in the garden and everything. And right under the downspout where all the water had washed away the, the dirt, there was a nice pile of, uh, of gravel, and that was pretty readily accessible. So once the games began, I was just running back and forth, you know, bringing handfuls of rocks to my cousin because I worshipped my cousin, and whatever he said to do, it had to be a good idea. Um, so later on in the evening, after a couple, uh, a couple rounds where, where my brother or my cousin Stephen had actually gotten the flag and not gotten hit, and a, a couple uneventful uh, hits with, with small pebbles, palpable hits that left marks, but nothing serious. Um, you know, it got a little competitive, and it was fair. We did our runs a couple times to get the flag, and, and, uh, and no one got hurt. But then, then John was up to bat with the slingshot, and it was starting to get dark, so he was just flinging rocks into the dark at these shadows moving in this field. And, you know, like, when a kid gets hurt and it's, like, it's, it's kind of a bad hurt and it's, it's so bad that they don't really know if it hurts yet and there's that sort of delay. And if you ever see a kid take a really bad fall and they, like, they sit up and they've got this look like, what the fuck just happened? And they get this sort of confused look on their face, and then they're like, no, that shit really hurts. And then the tears start to come, and then you hear, like, the siren, like the air raid siren. Ah! Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> so Cousin John ripped one off into the dark, and, I mean, we'll never forget the sound of stone colliding with skull. And uh, Stephen went down, and there was that like brief pause. We all heard it, like, 
And then we're like, oh shit. And then I remember my cousin be like, no, I think he's okay. And then off the distance, and we're like, fuck, he's really hurt. Um, so Stephen went running back to our parents, and, uh, and needless to say, he got in trouble. <laughs> Stephen went to the hospital, um, and John got sent to his room. And I was still pretty fond of Cousin John, so I went up to his room with him. And, uh, and so we sat on the roof and watched the meteor shower instead. It was, frankly, a better view. Thank you. 